dough, and the dough, Roy made the dough, I'm gonna go film him in a second. And so you have a rolling pin, you're rolling out the dough, yes. and you're doing it straight on the table, or are you doing it on? A little bit of flour. Yeah. Okay, show me how you, when you're done, show me how you're gonna cut it. All right, so you, you're showing me how you, what are you cutting it with? Okay. Yeah. And okay. How many? How many are you gonna cut out of that? Three dozen. All right. And uh, Michelle's doing the same thing, right? Yeah, doing the same thing. All right. I'm gonna film Michelle for a second. Okay. So you're also rolling, and you're also gonna cut with a tomato soup can. You wanna look up at me for a second? Since I, so I can get your face as well as your hair, right? Oh, and yeah. then... Uh, my best feature. <laughs> yeah, you do have very nice hair. <laughs> Each one of you is going to take... Take it. Okay, so you've got one of those circles, uh, right? Yeah. And you put about a teaspoon in. Yeah. And make it up into a ball. Okay. <laughs> Fold it over and pitch around. Yep. And and uh, yeah, no, it's not quite it because what then happens next is forward on the screen is a cookie tray, and it already has one layer of pierogies on it. And then you put wax paper, right? Yeah. And on the wax paper, you're putting another layer, and you go up to four layers. Four layers. Yeah. Then I saw what Michelle did, which is that she took one of these things with the four layers. And it goes in the freezer. Yep. And what I'm going to walk around to now is the frame. So you've got here, okay, so here are the cut up, here are the cut up circles and a layer of pinched pierogies. So then right here is a frame. And this particular frame separates one layer of pierogies from another. I'm going into the freezer to show what the layers of pierogies look like in the freezer. So it goes three across, then there's a frame, and then we go, go the pierogies on top, right? So we've got, okay, we've, I'm gonna go film the uh, filling. And what happens with the filling, here's Roy Hart at work. <laughs> what happens with the filling is brought from home, but it's mixed here, so the filling is a consistent flavor, okay? Yes. And so Roy's working on mixing the filling. And Roy, tell me how many pounds of filling, how many pounds of potatoes? About 80 pounds of potatoes. Okay, 80 pounds of potatoes is going to make how many dozen? About 200 dozen. 200 dozen. And they sell them in batches of? 10 dozen. 10 dozen. And how, you're going to make? How many dozen today? Probably uh, 200 dozen. 200 dozen. Yeah. And it's going to take you how long to sell these things? Along with it, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. And not only that, but they're cheap. Relatively. Yeah. I don't think anybody makes them any cheaper. <laughs> All right. So how many do they? How much do they cost for 10 dozen? Twenty-five dollars. Yep. And you, fifty a dozen. Yeah. But we sell them in 10 dozen lots. Yeah. So it does pretty well, and nobody wants, uh, except for us field workers from out of town, <laughs> nobody wants less than 10 dozen. No, because 10 dozen is not very many. <laughs> yeah, and Natalie was telling me that some are getting shipped to Toronto by air. So somehow or other we're going to ship 10 dozen frozen pierogies to Toronto by air. Okay, and the other thing I'm going to film right now is how the dough gets mixed. And Roy said that the dough gets mixed in small batches so that it makes a nice dough. That's right. And now, okay, so Roy's going to, are you going to take the dough out? Got to check it first. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, you are? So you're checking it by hand. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and what does that do to check it by hand like that? In the right texture, you know, if it's, if it's enough time, you need more flour, so a little bit less. Yeah, no. you know, I've only ever mixed dough by hand, and that's exactly what I do is, is see how it feels on the hand. Yeah. yeah. 
and uh, you know you got a bag of flour there. How many pounds? A twenty-two, uh, twenty-pound bag of flour. Yeah, so it's a, by kilos. Yeah. Right. So is it what is it? Ten kilos? Yeah. Okay. It is. And you're gonna go through at least two of these. At least right? two a day. Two already. Yeah. Oh, you've used two already. This because is. This will be the. Yeah, there were some. Well, there'll be two bags we'll be using today. Yeah. So that's quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, are we? Yeah. Uh, what else should I film, or what else should I do? Well, you tasted them, and you know what to like. So. Oh, I, okay. I can vouch for the fact that these are super delicious pierogies, because, like Roy said, yeah, it's tested by hand, done by our culinary master here, and all of the pea, all of the stuff is fresh. So they use real cheddar cheese. They don't use any, like the ladies that make up the, uh, the filling, they don't use any powder or anything like that. Same for the potatoes. A lot of the potatoes are homegrown. That's right. At this season, of course, you gotta buy the potatoes, right? That's right. Yeah, and okay, so I, here what we've got is Roy kneading the dough. It's been kneaded by a machine. But he's then doing, why are you doing an extra hand kneading? <laughs> I just, well, just, we, we just to make sure it's, it's uh, I don't know, I have to have him in portions now. Yeah, so what Roy's doing it by hand, then you're going to do what? Um, two cup portions. Okay. So what, what is, what's that you're using to cut it with? So that's a special cutter. Do. A dough cutter. Yeah, dough cutter. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to cut how many portions you're going to cut? Three, the two cup portions. Okay. Six oh, cups. so you're making it six cups, two cup portions. Okay. And that's what's going to get rolled out, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm going to stop now. And thank you all. So. You're very welcome. Oh, good. Well, I'll see you put, are you going to start another batch? Oh, yeah. I keep on doing it all the time. Okay. Well, I'm going to watch you start another batch now. And then I'll turn it off after that. Okay. Okay. So you're shaving butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like for pie crust. Yeah. Tell them more when I'm. I'm telling more when I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Put any water in? Not yet. Okay. Oh, so you're gonna break up the uh, you're gonna break up the shortening first. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I, that's what I would. Yeah, you would break up the shortening before you um, put in the water for pie crust. Water has to be boiling. Oh, you put in hot water? Oh yeah, boiling water. Really? Why? Because I would have, I would have thought cold would do better because of the, uh, because of the uh, shortening. No, I put in hot water and I put some cold water and I put oil. Okay, the oil makes sense, but why the hot water? Well, it has to be hot. 
It's like hot water pastry. I always use the pastry, hot water pastry. I don't know how to do hot water pastry. Easy. Well, you make it look easy. Hey, where'd you Hot water pastry is just flour. Well, for pie crust, you know, like that. No, okay, I've always used cold water for for pastry, like for pie crust. And I've always used uh, hot water. So what does a hot water do that cold water doesn't do? Uh, you know, it, it would dissolve. It's, 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 I always use lard, though. So is that lard that you're using right there? Pardon? Is that lard you're using? Okay. Well, you know, does it, it dissolves the fat better, or what does it do? I don't know what it does. I don't know how it, how it, how it, how it works. Yeah. It's very flaky. Okay. So I should, when I do something like that, I should try hot water? And the recipe is a little bit different. Okay. Flour and water and the recipe. Yeah. Okay. So I've got, you just poured water, hot water, with oil. No, you're pouring it in now. Okay, with oil and a little bit of cold water as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a close-up of this thing. Okay. Okay, so that's beginning to look like dough. How long is this going to go now? Just till it's mixed. Just well until Roy says it's ready. Yeah. I see. 